seven two properties of logarithms with logarithms if you are adding these two logarithms and your bases are the same so that little subscript number is the same you are actually multiplying your whole numbers so if we look at example 1a we have log 4 of 2 plus log 4 of 32 so when you do this you're going to keep the log 4 and you are going to multiply the 2 times the 32 so that gives us log 4 of 64. So now you want to think to yourself, 4 to what power is 64? Well, 4 to the third power is 64, so our answer is 3. For B, we have log 5 of 625 plus log 5 of 25. So again, our bases are the same, log 5, log 5. We're going to keep the log 5, and we're going to multiply the 625 times the 25. So this is going to give us log 5 of 625 times 25. 625 times 25 gives us 15,625. So this is log 5 of 15,625. So from here, you want to think 5 to what power is equal to the 15,625. I don't expect you to know this off the top of your head, but 5 to the 6th power is, six, is the 15,625. So 6 is our answer. For C, we have log, 20, log 1 third of 27 plus log 1 third of 1 ninth. So this is going to be log 1 third of 27 times 1 ninth. 27 times 1 ninth is 3, so this is log 1 third of 3. So 1 third to what power is equal to 3? Well, 1 third to the negative 1, or the negative first power, is positive 3, so negative 1 is our answer. For D, we have log A of 3 plus log A of 4. So again, our bases are the same. So keep the log A and then multiply the 3 times 4. That's going to give us log A of 12. You can't do anything else with this, so that's your answer. When we are subtracting these logs, we are actually dividing them. So when we have something that has the same base, in this case log 5 minus, or sorry, log 5 of 16 minus log 5 of 2, you are going to divide, excuse me, divide the 16 and the 2, keep the log 5, and then solve it from there. If we look at A, we have log 2 of 32 minus log 2 of 4. So our bases are the same, both log 2, keep the log 2, and then do the 32 divided by 4. 32 divided by 4 is 8, so log 2 of 8 is really 2 to what power is 8? Well, 2 to the third power is 8, so 3 is our answer for this one. For B, we have log 7 of 49 minus log 7 of 7, so keep the log 7, divide the 49 and the 7, 49 divided by 7 is 7, so log 7 of 7. And 7 to what power is 7? It's the first power, so 1 is our solution. For C, we have log A of 7 minus log A of 5. So our log A's are the same. Keep the log A. Log A, and then do 7 divided by 5. When you do this, you're actually going to write it as a fraction. So you're going to have log a of 7 fifths. For d, we have log 4 of 64 minus log 4 of 16. So we're going to do log 4 of 64 divided by 16. 64 divided by 16 is 4. So this is log 4 of 4. And 4 to what? power is equal to 4, 1. 
when you have logs that also have exponents, that exponent comes out front to multiply. So if we look at example 3a, we have log 3 of 81 raised to the second power. So this is really log 3 of 81 squared is 6,561. However, we could solve this a lot easier if we take that exponent, bring it to the front, and multiply whatever we get there. So we have 3 times log 3 of 81. So 3 to what power is 81? Whatever we get from that, we're going to multiply it by the 3 that's out in front. I'm sorry, the 2. This is a 2, not a 3. So this is a 2. This is a 2. So we're going to do 2 times 3 to the 4th power is 81. So that's 2 times 4, which is 8. For B, we have log 5 of 1 fifth raised to the third power. So this 3 comes out front. We're going to have 3 times log 5 of 1 fifth. 5 to what power is the 1 fifth? It's the negative 1. So we're going to do 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. For C, we have log 10 of 4. So now this one's a little bit different. This one doesn't have a base here. When you never have a base, it's an automatic 10. So this is log 10 to the power, or sorry, log 10 of 10 to the power of 4. So this 4 comes out front. We're going to have 4 times log 10 of 10. 10 to what power is 10? That's the first power. So this is 4 times 1, which is 4. For D, we have log 5 of 25 to the second power. So we're going to pull that 2 in front. So 2 times log 5 of 25. So 5 to what power is 25? It's the second power, so that's going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. For E, we have that 5 that's going to be pulled in front, so 5 times log 2 of 1 half. So 2 to what power is 1 half? It's actually negative 1, so 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. For f, we have log 2, 32 raised to the 6th power. So the 6, we're going to bring out front and multiply. 6 times log 2 of 32. So 2 to what power is 32? Multiply that by 6. So 2 to the 5th power is 32. So this is 6 times 5 which is 30. When we are looking at these, we're doing the same exact thing. So, however, when you do this, you got to realize that if your base and your number are the same, they cancel each other out. And the only thing you have left is either that exponent or whatever is out in front. So if you look here, this base of 8 and this whole number of 8 are the same thing, so they actually cancel each other out, and the only thing you have left is the 3x plus 1. If you don't do it that way, and you had log 8 of 8 to the power of 3x plus 1, this 3x plus 1 would go out front, so it's 3x plus 1 times log 8 of 8. Well, 8 to the power of 1 is 8, so this is 3x plus 1 times 1, which is just 3x plus 1. For b, we have log 5 of 125. So again, this is just 5 to the power of what is 125. We have 5 to the third power is equal to 125, so that 3 is our solution.
for z, we have 2 to the power of log 2 of 27. So this 2 actually cancels out the log 2 because they have the same base, so to say. And the only thing that's our answer is the 27. For d, we have log 10 to the power of 0 0.9. So remember, this is the same thing as log 10 of 10 to the power of 0 0.9. The log 10 of 10 cancels out, and the only thing we have left is a 0 0.9. For e, we have 2 to the power of log 2 of 8x. So this 2 and this log 2 cancel out. The only thing we have left is 8x. That's our answer. For f, we have 3 to the power of log 3 of 4.52. So 3 and the log 3 cancel out. We just have the 4.52 as our solution. For our last part, we are going to be evaluating these. When we do this, we are going to work with um, the log of their big base divided by the log of the little base. Um, so this is just, okay, so for example, for A, we have log 4 of 8. 4 to, there, there's no power that 4 can be raised to to get 8. So you're going to have to look at this as log 8 divided by log 4. And this you're going to need a calculator for. So on, in your calculator, you're going to just hit the log button, then to do 8, Close your parentheses, divide by log 4, close the parentheses, and hit enter. We get 1.5. So this large number is always going to go on top. This small number is going to go on the bottom of your fraction, and we're just going to take the log of both. For B, we have log 9 of 27. So this is the same thing as log 27 divided by log 9. Log 27 divided by log 9 is also 1.5. For C, we have log 8 of 16. So again, log 16 divided by log 8. So log 16 oops, divided by log 8 is 1.3 repeating. So that you're going to actually write it as 1.3 repeating. So 1.3 with your bar notation over the 3. Unless it tells you to uh, round, you're going to write down exactly what it is. For D, we have log 5 of 300. So this is log 300 divided by log 5. So log 300 divided by log 5 is 3. 0.5439, whatever. So we're going to round this to the nearest hundredth. Again, I will tell you what to round it to. For E, we have log 12, 24. So log 24 divided by log 12. Oops, 12. Log 24 divided by log 12. is 1.27894296. We're going to round to the nearest hundredth, so this is 1.28. For f, we have log 500. Remember, your invisible base here is a 10, so this is saying log 500 divided by log 10, which is really just log 500 because it's being divided by 1. And we get 2.69878970004. So this rounded to the nearest hundredth is 2.70.